everyone! My name is Dawn and I am from Act 3 Drama Academy. Welcome to today's Facebook Live storytelling session. Now today, I'm going to be sharing the story of the ant and the grasshopper. So this is another one of Aesop's fables. And as you know, Aesop's fables always have a moral. So as you're watching this story, think about what is the moral of the story and maybe you can tell me after the story. Alright? Oh, good morning Noel and Eli. But before we begin, do prepare a square piece of paper as there will be a paper folding activity after the story, alright? So just have that at the side. Good morning Shun Jie and Cheng Jie. Good morning Joash. Good morning Lena. Now, without further ado, the ant and the grasshopper. Soldier ants, huff, attention. Left, 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 right, left, 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 attention. Huff, salute. Good day, soldier ants. Now it is time to get to work. Winter is coming and we must prepare for the long and hard days ahead. Now it is time to collect all the food we can find. Work hard now so we can play later. Mm. Now let's get to work, ants. Oh, when the ants work hard all day. Oh, when the ants work hard all day. It is time to prepare for winter. Oh, when the ants work hard all day. Oh, when the ants stock up their food. Oh, when the ants stock up their food. It is time prepare for winter. Oh, when the ants stock up their food. <sighs> All you ants at home, don't just sit around. Come on, we must work hard for the winter. Winter is coming. So sing along with me, everybody. Oh, when the ants work hard all day. Oh, when the ants work hard all day, it is time to prepare for winter. Oh, when the ants work hard all day, oh, when the ants stock up their food. Oh, when the ants stock up their food, it is time to prepare for winter. So the ants will never stop. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Oh, 40 meals for 40 days of winter. And we are all set for winter, soldier ants. Summer is almost over. Oh, we spent most of the summer working hard. Hmm. That's all right, ants. Now we can play. It's always better to work hard and be prepared for the hard days ahead. Don't you agree? No? Hmm. Well, little ants, let me tell you a story. 
Grandfather Ed used to tell me this story when I was very little. The story of a very lazy grasshopper. Mm. Now this grasshopper did nothing all summer but play and lace, lace and play. I'll tell you this story. Now, in the summer of 1958, Grandfather Ed met a grasshopper named Gladys. <laughs> now, one morning, Grandfather was out in the fields working very hard. Now, as Grandfather was working very hard collecting food out in the fields, he met a beautiful grasshopper. What lovely weather today! Grasshopper Gladys. Now I'm getting ready for summer. Summer loving had me a blast. Summer loving happened so fast. Met a girl crazy for me. Met a boy. Cute as can be, summer days drifting away. Oh, 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 summer night. <sighs> what a beautiful day! Oh, I have the perfect plan for this summer morning. Doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Although, it would be nice to have some company. Hmm. Oh, look, there are ants working in the fields. Oh. And there's an ant staring at me. <laughs> he must think I'm so beautiful. Hello, ant. Hello. Hello there, handsome ant. Won't you come and enjoy the day with me? Working? Oh! <laughs> Prepare for winter? Oh, you silly ant! Winter is such a long way ahead! We can enjoy first, then work hard later! Hmm? Hmm? How about that ant? Shall we have a fun day? Enjoy, <laughs> have an enjoyable day with you. <laughs> no, uh, uh, sorry, Grasshopper Gladys. I had to work hard for the winter. 
I must collect food. Now, if you don't mind me saying, you should start collecting your food for the winter as well. Before you know it, winter will be here. And winter, oh, winter is always a difficult time. You should start collecting your food, Gladys. No? All right. Have a nice day, Miss Grasshopper. And so, Grandfather Ant continued working hard that summer morning. As for Grasshopper Gladys, she did nothing all day. She said she would start tomorrow. Well, tomorrow came. And guess what she did, everybody? <laughs> she did nothing. for me to start getting to work. Don't you think so, everybody? Well, I did say I would start collecting my food for the winter. Oh, all right. Time to get to work. Although, it is such a beautiful day. Ah, look at the sun shining, the breeze drifting gently. Oh, oh, it's too beautiful a day to work, don't you think? It would be a waste. Oh. Tell me, everybody, what would you do on this beautiful summer day? Ah. Oh, tell me, tell me what you would do. I think I would... <gasps> Go on a picnic! <sighs> oh, or maybe I would go swimming in the lake. everybody work mm. it's such a beautiful day summer is not for working summer is summer holidays oh. Oh. everybody let's dance and party our summer away And that's what exactly Grasshopper did all summer. Play, play, and play. Oh, before she knew it, winter came. But Grandfather Ant was all prepared for winter. And there he was in his little house down in the ground, all cuddled up nice and warm with a lovely cup of hot cocoa. Winter is here. I have all the food I need. And it's time for me 
to have a long rest. Although, I do what I do wonder what happened to Grasshopper Gladys. I hope she's all right. Wait a minute. Is that Grasshopper Gladys out in the cold? What is she doing out in the cold? It's freezing out there. Grasshopper Gladys! Grasshopper Gladys! What are you doing out in the cold? Are you lost? Do you need help, Grasshopper Gladys? Gladys. Everyone at home, tell me, should I help Grasshopper Gladys? What should I do? She did say I was silly for working hard during the summer. Should I share my food with her or teach her a lesson? do both. I can share my food and I can teach her how to prepare for the next winter. <sighs> Grasshopper Gladys, I'll share my food with you. Come, come inside. Here's a nice warm cup of hot cocoa. Now, Grasshopper Gladys, it is good to enjoy ourselves, but the next winter, you must work hard. Always be prepared for the long and hard days. Work hard, play later. <laughs> So, Grasshopper Gladys had food that winter. Now the next summer, Grasshopper Gladys learned her lesson. She worked hard collecting food so she could be well prepared for the long and hard days. <laughs> As for Grandfather Ant, well, he did learn a thing or two from Grasshopper Gladys he learned how to enjoy himself after a long and hard day of work. Now, that's how my grandfather and met my grandmother, Grandmother Gladys. Oh, that's right. I got this from my grandmother's side. <laughs> oh, now get back to work. 
Soldier ants, prepare for winter. The end. Now, I hope you enjoyed the story of the ant and the grasshopper. Can all of you tell me what was the moral of the story? Work hard, play later. And of course, don't be lazy and don't be complacent. That's right, Narelle. Work hard and don't be lazy. Well done! Now, that was a very good story and it's time for our paper folding activity. So get your piece of paper ready. I have my piece of green paper. Green because we are going to fold a paper grasshopper. Now, if you don't have green, that's alright. Any colour will do, even white, and you can colour it later. So have your square piece of paper. First thing, let's fold the paper into half, like this. Alright, to make a triangle. So fold exactly in half, everyone. Like this. Fold half to make a triangle. Emma says work hard not to be lazy. If not, you will have no food for winter. <laughs> That's right, Emma. We must always prepare for the hard days. You're very welcome for the story. Now there, you should have a triangle. Alright? So make sure that your lines are nicely folded down. Open up um, back to the square again. So we see a line this way, right? Now we're going to fold a triangle again, but this time around we're going to create a line going down this way. Alright? So again, fold your triangle, uh, fold your paper into half to make a triangle. But this time around the other way. So you get a line going down. So fold it in half again. <laughs> now, Gabriel, you had lots of fun in the snow during winter. But did you work hard in the summer so that you could play in the winter? Unblock. <laughs> Alright, so open up your paper again. So you should have a line going across and a line going down. Right? Now we're going to create more lines on our paper. So what we're going to do is hold our paper this way and we're going to fold it in half again, but this time around to create a rectangle. So folding it down to make a rectangle like this, alright? So fold exactly in half to make a rectangle, everybody. Now for those of you who are still here, don't forget to come back on to our Facebook, um, Act 3 International's Facebook. At 3pm, we have a July break Facebook Live Storytelling Special. Yes, there will be another storytelling session at 3pm later. The Little Red Hen. So do come back at 3 o'clock, alright everybody? <laughs> Gabriel says summer was even more fun! <laughs> yes, luckily the farmers work hard all year round so we can all have food summer and winter. <laughs> so now you have your rectangle, open it back up. You have a line going down. Now let's fold it in half again to make a line going across. So now I'm going to fold it again. So fold it in half again, everybody. Alright. 
So now you should see lots of lines. You have one line going across, down, diagonally. It should look like a star, everybody. Alright, don't worry, I'll wait. You're very welcome, Kai. If you would like more storytelling, please come back at 3 o'clock. Alright, so let's do a recap of the steps. Fold it in half to make a triangle. Open up your triangle. Folding it down to make another triangle. Then open up your triangle. So now you have a line going down and a line going down this way. Across and down. Then fold it in half to make a rectangle. Alright. Open up your rectangle back to your square. Now fold your rectangle like this. Alright? So when you open up your paper, you should have many lines. One line going across, one line going down, and two diagonal lines. Does everybody have that? <laughs> Am I going to do the beach today? No, I'm not going to the beach today. The beaches have been really crowded, right? I don't want to go to the beach. <laughs> Does everybody have this? Then I'll continue if everybody has this. Right? That's right! And please, if you go to the beach, please be careful of the jellyfish. That's right, the box jellyfish. All right, now once you have this, what we're going to do is we're going to hold our paper like this, okay? So we're going to hold um, the two sides here like this and we're going to push it. Uh, okay, hold on. So make it back into a rectangle and hold the straight line here and push your paper. And as you push your paper, you will see that it starts to make this shape. Can you see? It starts to make this shape and you can see a square forming. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch it until you get this shape. Can you see? See how there, is, there are squares forming in the front? Uh, 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 sorry, not square but a diamond. It's a square this way, but a diamond. So we are going to Fold it down like this to make a small diamond and there are layers, two layers. So once you have this, you're just going to press it down flat. Alright? No! Oh no, somebody says no! Okay, maybe I'll do a very fast recap right from the start, okay? So first, take your, take your square, fold it into a triangle. Right, fold exactly in half to make a triangle. Alright, now open up your triangle back to your paper. Now we fold a triangle this way. Now we're going to fold a triangle this way. Okay, so fold it in half again. Now open it back up. You have a line going across and a line going down. This time round, we are going to fold it in half to make a rectangle. Fold it in half to make a rectangle. Now make sure that your folds are all nice and uh, pressed, pressed, pressed really hard. Alright? Okay, now open up. Now fold a rectangle this way. Okay? To make a line going down. Alright? So now open up your paper, you should have all your lines across, down, and two diagonal. Right? Then let's hold our paper like this. So holding the line across, the straight line across, let's hold it like this. And let's push our paper. And as we push our paper, you will see 
that it starts to form a diamond. Can you see this di This is a square, right? I'm going to push it this way and it makes a diamond. All right? And this is what the back looks like. So I'm just going to flatten the back. So if I hold it like this, it already looks like two diamonds, right? The back and the front. Then I'm just going to fold it down, flatten everything down. So now I have a diamond. And if you look at the sides, the diamond is two layers. The sides, there are two layers to the sides. All right? So this is what it looks like. Okay, I will show it from this again. So you have all your lines. So just hold, hold your paper where the straight lines are. Push it. Hold your paper like this, push it, push it together and because you made so many folds, it should fold and all you need to do is press it flat. Does everybody have this? Let me know. Yes, I see yeses. That's great if you have this. Alright, now once you have this, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first layer, alright, and we're going to take this edge over here to fold to the center line like this. Alright, this is what we're going to do. So take your first layer and fold it to the center line. Do the same to the other side. Alright, so just press, make sure that you really press down on the folds, alright? Because we need those as a guideline. Do the same to this side. Take the first layer and fold to the middle line. Alright, once you have this, should look like a kite. Now, once you have this, we are just going to unfold the two folds. We're just going to unfold it. We're going to take the layer from the bottom, the first layer from the bottom. We are just going to bring it up like this. Can you see? I took the first layer from the bottom and I'm going to bring it up like this. Yes, it looks like a stingray. <laughs> So like when, once you open it up, what we're going to do is we're going to take this part and we're just going to fold it in. So right, right where this line is, we're just going to fold it inwards. So this part is tricky, alright children? So ask mommy and daddy to help you for this part because it's very tricky. So we're going to fold it inwards like this. Can you see how I tucked it in? So same for the other side, same for this side, I'm just going to tuck it in right where the fold is. I'm going to tuck it inwards. Alright, and so it will look like this. I'm just going to fold it all the way in. I'm going to fold, fold, fold. until it becomes flat, until I can fold it down flat. So it still has that kite shape, but this time round, the folds are on the inside. Alright? So now you still have your stingray shape, or your kite shape, but with the folds on the inside. 
I'll, I'll show it to you again. So what I did was, it was like this, yes? Open up your folds, take the first layer from the bottom, bring it up until it's uh, an open, until it's open like this. Then we're going to bring this side in and fold it right where you made a fold. You're just going to fold along the sides. Same for this side. Like this. And then you can press it flat. It looks like a rocket. <laughs> now, once you've done this, we're going to do the exact same steps on the back. Alright? So just take this side. Folding it across to the center line. Same for the other side. And now you really have a shape of a kite. Alright, so folding it down. So now you have the shape of a kite. Again, Unfold it, bring up the first layer, bring up the first layer, and push it in, okay? So fold it inwards, fold it in, and do the same for this side, folding it in. Then press it down, bring it down, and you should have your kite. <laughs> Does everybody have this? I see lots of thumbs up. So does that mean you got it? I hope you did! Now once you have this, you can take the first layer, alright, and we're just going to bring it up. Take the first layer, bring it up. Yes, maybe if you add a string, the kite will fly. So take the first layer, bring it up. So now, you've got a diamond, a twinkly diamond. <laughs> Do the same to the back. Take the first layer and bring it up. It looks like a peacock. So now you have this diamond shape and there are legs at the bottom. Do you have two legs at the bottom? So you should have this. Because this was the kite. We're just going to bring it up like this. Same for the back. Take the bottom layer and bring it up. No, you, are you still struggling with the previous step? Alright, some yes or some no. Alright. So you should have this now. like a walking monster. Oh no, okay. Uh, so, let's do a recap. This is what you have, right? You're going to fold it like this. Then unfold it. You're going to take the first layer, you're going to open it up. And 
where you made the folds just now, we're just going to fold it inwards. So fold it in, and fold it in, and now you should have this shape, and then just bring it down and press it flat. So you do the same to the back. Alright? Well, once you have this front and back, it, it should be the exact same front and back. I'm just going to bring it up. It looks like a bird. <laughs> yes, once you bring it up, yes, it, it looks like bird's legs, right? But bird's legs. Right? So you should have this. Once you have this... <laughs> a walking robot! Right. Does everybody have this? Once you have this, leave your legs down at the bottom, okay? Oh, let's let's have the legs pointing up. We're just going to take this and we're just going to fold. Like this. So take this, folding it to the line. So take this, fold it to the line, like this. Bye, Bunny! Same thing, the legs are up. Just gonna take one side, one layer, and we're just going to fold it to the center. Fold it to the center line. Like this. So my my flappy legs are here. I'm just going to take the sides and folding it to the center. Like this. And then do the same to the back, alright? So take these sides, fold it to the center line. Ta-da! One side. Now it helps if you have um, a table that you are doing it against. And do the same to this side, folding it to the center line. So now you have a really skinny shape, a really skinny pointed shape, like this. Alright, we are almost done. Does everybody have this? Now once you have this, we are going to fold it in half. So once you have this, fold it in half, alright? So you should have this shape. Open it back up again. Now fold it the other way. So we're just trying to make our folds. Looks like Elsa's crystal from Frozen. Yes, it does look like a crystal, you're right. Open it back up to to this. So now, if you see, there are four sides, right? Now let's push it to have our folds. The folds that we made, let's bring it together. Same for this side. The folds that we made, bring it together. So now it's a flat piece like this. All right. Now this top. Let's bring this down all the way, like this. So 
this top, we're just going to bring it down all the way. And at the back, we're just going to fold it a little bit like this. So the, um, one more time, the front one, I'm going to bring it all the way down. I'm going to turn to the back. This one, I'm just going to fold a little bit down. Yes, like a diamond. Alright, good. And we are almost done everybody, almost done. Now let's fold it in half again. And look, you can already see a grasshopper starting to form. So one more time, this is... The little triangle at the back. This one I brought all the way down. Then I'm just going to fold everything into half. Alright, and you can see that your grasshopper is starting to form. So now we're just going to bring his body up. So there's two layers. Can you see two? Two pointy bits. I'm just going to take the first one and I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. So bring it up pointing up a little bit and I'm just going to smoosh it down so it stays pointing up yes and now his legs we have to fold his legs can you see two legs that's right so I'm just going to take the first leg I'm going to fold it up and down one more time taking his leg the first leg I'm just going to fold it up and down Same for the back. <laughs> Take this, fold it up and down. So now you've got your grasshopper. And you can add an eye for the grasshopper if you want. And there you have Gladys the grasshopper. Okay, let's, for those of you who can't get it, maybe let's, uh, I'll do a recap now. Okay, let's see, where did I, ah, okay, uh, let's unfold everything. Alright, so once you have this, you should fold it in this way to the center line. Take this side, fold it into the center line, yes? All right, now you see how my folds are here. I'm just going to turn to the side. I'm going to open it up like this so that it's a flat piece. Same for this side, open it up so it's a flat piece like this. And there are two legs at the bottom. And on the top, there are two layers. So I'm going to take one layer, I'm going to fold it all the way down. Right where this line is, I'm going to fold it all the way down. And at the back, I'm just going to fold a little triangle, like this, alright? So once I have this little triangle, I'm going to fold the whole thing into half, like this, okay? Once I have the triangle, fold it in half. So now, I have this shape at the side. There are two pointy bits, I'm just going to hold the bottom pointy bit. I'm just going to bring up the first pointy bit. Just bring it up a little bit so that it's um, pointing slightly to a, a slant and I'm going to press it down so it stays there. So now these are actually the grasshopper's legs. So we're just going to take one leg, fold it up a little bit and right you see where this leg is now pointing up, we're just going to fold it down. Do the same to the other side. Take one leg, fold it up, then fold this bit down and you should have your grasshopper and you can add an eye to the grasshopper yay weightiest grasshopper is hopping away well done everybody i hope you got your grasshopper if you didn't get your grasshopper it's all right um, this will be posted as a video so you can rewind and watch it all right yay Alyssa loves her grasshopper so thank you all so much for joining me this saturday morning do come back at 3 p.m. later. We will have a Facebook Live special storytelling because it's the July holidays. It will be at 3 o'clock and the story is The Little Red Hen. 
and you get to play a character. Alright, so you will be the different characters in the story and you will learn how to act. So do join at 3 o'clock, alright? Thank you so much everybody! Goodbye! Have a nice weekend!